I'm personally betting these, which means I'm not going to throw out stuff that I'm not backing on my own. I am starting with the Steelers at home plus 110 against New England on the road. They're hosting the Patriots. I don't trust the Patriots offense. Steelers, meanwhile, their defense, even without TJ Watt, did well. I love Mika Fitzpatrick. I'm intrigued to see what happens with Mac Jones in this game. I like at least the fact that Trubisky didn't turn the football over, which means he's not going to hand the football and give extra possessions to to Bill Belichick. I take the I take the Pittsburgh Steelers at home. They escape with an overtime win against Cincinnati. I like them straight up as the home underdog. I do too. Uh, I love your description of Trubisky. It's like describing a true freshman quarterback in college. We just need this kid to not turn the ball over and then just keep the ball in our possession. We're going to be okay. That's the description of Trubisky. Patriots. I like it. I just fear a little bit the regression, the, the, the flip, you know, that they both play opposite of how they played first week, which is always what you think in the second week. That's fair. Um, I just I feel like it's, it's good to take them home. Give me the Saints over the Bucks. The Bucks are banged up offensively at receiver. The Saints notoriously play well against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And in this matchup, the Saints defense against that Tampa Bay offense, I think this is a, a grinded out type of game where I think the focus is going to be on Brady and Winston. This is more about the backfield. And I realize Kamara has got a rib injury or something's going on with him. I still like New Orleans in this game to win this game outright at plus 120. Again, at home, home underdog, I'm taking New Orleans. I think it was just designated as questionable, Kamara. I'm taking is, the Saints. Yeah. Tom Brady, one and four against New Orleans since becoming the starting I like quarterback. It. I like it. I, I mean, they've got their number. They even win, like, terrible games. They won nine-nothing <laughs> the, they, the last time they played. And my third game, I had Jacksonville winning over Indy. And I switched it because Joe Flacco is 17-3 and three against the Cleveland Browns. And they are a heavy underdog. Give me New York on the road. The vast majority of the points from Cleveland came on field goals. Vast majority a week ago. I think it's fool's gold. I think you look at the final schedule, uh, final score, and you look at the schedule upcoming. You also look at the Jets and what they did or what they did not do offensively against Baltimore. I think it flips. I'm taking the Jets on a flyer this week, and I think they get things together offensively. They didn't run the ball very well last week. I think they do this week against Cleveland. I can't go with you on this one. Joe, Joe Flacco won all those games because he had a Ravens defense with him. The Jets do not have the Ravens defense. I think Cleveland plays the same formula it played last week and beats the Jets, who are maybe the worst team in the Never world. thought I'd see the day where I heard – Joe Flacco's a difference in this football game, and it's, it's a good statement. that it's, He's going to be the difference in a, in a good way. Let's talk about whether he's the let me, let me tell you how good he is against this franchise. He's exactly the same as Peyton Manning was against the Houston Texans, 17-3. and three. That's insane. Insane. Give me Joe Flacco. If he's uh, going to play one uh, good game, it's this one. Hutton, are you confident enough to parlay these three games together? You know what? I will. Uh, I have bet them individually. Again, I'm going now, Steelers, he's Saints, going Jets. To group them. I will parlay them all together, and let's win big this weekend, gentlemen. Let's win.